The Yamaha Smart Pianist, also known as the CSP 150 or 170, is the first piano that Yamaha has made that is fully controlled by a, an iPad. There are iPads that have apps that can interact with digital pianos, but this is the first time that Yamaha has actually made an iPad controlled piano. I'm going to show you the piano room right now because you're already familiar with the piano and the fact that it comes with about four different features. We're going to focus just on the piano room here. The piano room is where you go to make your digital piano sound and feel just like an acoustic piano. The first thing we're going to look at is the lid position. The lid can be closed, it can be at um, half stick or all the way. That would provide a nice open sound. This would provide a quieter closed sound. You can do that with your hand or you can just open it like this. It's kind of neat, not totally necessary, but it can warm up your sound a little bit, make it a little quieter without actually having to play quieter. The next th setting in your uh, piano room settings here is the brightness level. When a piano is too bright, the needles, they can, they can needle the ha hammers in order to add some holes to the hammers to decrease the amount of contact that the hammer has with the string, making a softer tone. When the hammer is compact and tight and it hits the string, it can make a very bright sound. Let me show you what a bright sound would sound like. That is very bright indeed. So that's a little bit more mellow. It's not going to be quieter. It's just not as bright. And Yamahas are known for their bright, bright tone. Some might not like that for particular pieces. So you can actually change the brightness of your song, of your piano, depending on which song you'd like to play. The touch curve would be the regulation of your piano. The regulation on an acoustic piano is how hard and how or how lightly you have to push on the keys in order to engage the hammers. Now all of our acoustic and digital pianos have a um, heavier weight at the bottom of our keys, a lighter weight at the top because it doesn't take a lot of uh, weight in your hammer to hit the very thin upper register strings. It takes a lot more weight for the lower ones. These digital pianos already have that set in there, but you can further adjust the touch curve. This is a very soft curve. And if you want it to push a little bit harder, you can go all the way to hard too. Now why would you want to do that? Perhaps you're playing a song that is very technical and it's too hard to push the keys down. You might want to start on a very soft touch so that you can do it really fast. And then as you increase the weight of the key, it can get closer and closer to mimicking that of an acoustic piano. Other pianos might be regulated, other acoustic pianos regulated with a very hard touch. Maybe you'd like to practice with a hard touch and then perform on one of those pianos. A fixed touch is the final option and that means no matter how soft, soft or hard I push, the sound will come out the same, much like an organ or a keyboard. So I'm going to keep it at soft here. The environment is the room in which you're in. So I'm going to show you the environment out here. Let's go to a cathedral setting. In this cathedral room, it sounds very beautiful, like a cathedral. In the chamber, there might be a different sound. In the cathedral, I can go into the environment here and I can increase the depth of the reverb. And now it sounds like it's really coming off the walls and I'm just right there in the cathedral. You can practice as if you're there and really enjoy the moment when you're playing. I'm going to take it back out of this and go back into my options here. The master tuning would be how a piano is tuned and the pitch. If you want to play in the appropriate Baroque period, you would have to adjust your tuning to that period. The tuning that we use today is 440 and that is the normal tuning option. 
I myself have never used that feature, but it is kind of neat. This is the virtual residence modeling. There are some samples here that uh, you can see on or off. They model different sounds from different pianos or different resonances of the string so that it can create that vibration that you're so familiar with in a piano, an acoustic piano. We also have damper resonance and string resonance. When a piano is played, an acoustic piano, the dampers that can be found, let me see if I can find a picture with the dampers. The dampers <clears throat> are gonna be those, these right here, these are the dampers. And when you play a, a, a string, the dampers can actually resonate because they're made of wood. The strings will also resonate, not only the one that you played, but those around them. And that's the full effect of that, of that sound that you're hearing when you're playing an acoustic piano. The same thing can happen here on this digital piano. If I turn this all the way down and play a chord, it sounds good, very good. But if I turn up the resonance, you can hear a fullness of a sound of other strings piping in because I have the dampers lifted and it's still vibrating. That makes it sound even more so like an acoustic piano. This is the depth of the key off sampling which reproduces the subtle sounds made when you release the key of an actual piano. You can read more about that online as well. The half pedal point, when you engage the pedal on the right, the dampers will lift up so that when you push your keys, the strings can continue to resonate. You lift up the pet, lift off the pedal, the dampers return, and the strings are silent. If you would like a string resonating just a little bit, but not all the way, you would do a half pedal. And this half pedal point can actually be determined by you. You can determine how lightly you need to engage that pedal and how um, or how firmly you want to engage it to really bring those dampers down and up. That's a very advanced setting for advanced pianists, but it can also provide a very nice touch to some pieces. And here you can actually tune specific keys. You can go to specific keys if one sounds off, or you can turn the volume up on a specific key, a very, very specific setting that will probably be rarely used. I'm gonna say done here. That was our piano room settings.